What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and this is Power Book 2 Season 2, Will Tariq Get Revenge on Kane Tejada. Now, where we last left off on Episode 5 of Season 2, Kane, his setup seems to be working perfectly, and Tariq is in jail after they found the, the badge for Officer Ramirez. But will Tariq just let that slide, or will he get revenge and not only that, kill T Kane before the episode the season is over before I break it down make sure you subscribe and bang that bell so you're notified of all the videos let's break it down now Kane is real shysty and he's been real slick on how he stayed a little bit above a uh, step ahead of Tariq in this season now he ended up setting up Tariq after he got that advice from Mecca that it must be somebody else you could put this on but that was a bad move because all of this stuff is going to backfire because Tariq knows everything about what he's been doing and putting that badge in there is not enough to make him take the fall for it. Now, he also set Tariq up with Monet because in episode five, Monet was ready to kill him because when she confronted Kane, Kane told her that Tariq is the one that killed the teacher not telling her the full story that he's the one that actually shot the teacher and it was Tariq that had to take him out so she and Tariq didn't exactly explain it correctly and he'd said enough so that he can get out of the situation alive but she was ready to shoot him had the pistol on the on the leg you know what I'm saying and uh it looked like Tariq was uh shaking like booty meat but he ended up staying cool and talking his way out of it, something that we have seen Tariq do time and time again. He is a quick thinker. I give him that. He may not be able to be quick with them hands, but he quick with them mental jabs. And so he said what needed to be said. She dropped him off in the middle of nowhere. But of course, all he did was call an Uber and be on his way. So little did he know that she kind of got him in trouble because she told him to find out who's the supplier for Kane. And so while he trying to make things right with what she want, he ended up following Kane after they had made the drop with Brayden. And he ended up getting his ass beat because when he followed Kane, he ended up getting enough information. But for some reason, he decided to get out the car. Now, he already had on video where Kane was, the location, and he heard that he was looking for Mecca. And so, for some reason, Tariq, like I said, got out the car. Once he did, he got ramrodded by Soldier Boy. I think it was the Soldier Boy. And sure enough, he had him looking MIA because uh, he sure beat the brakes off Tariq. And left him looking like a wounded warrior. I thought he was Soldier Slim up in here. Because uh, he gave it to him raw. And it wasn't looking too good for Tariq. I, it looked like Tariq might have got killed. Um, especially when he had that phone with all that information. And uh, they was trying to uh, see what he was up to. But Kane played it off. Because by Tariq following him and getting busted. It also put Kane in jeopardy. So Kane was smart to not say anything because his life was in danger. But he left Tariq hanging out to dry like an old t-shirt on the clothesline. And it almost, you know, was the end for Lil Reek. And we saw he don't know how to fight still. He need to go to the YMCA and take some self-defense classes. Uh, you know, women's self-defense classes or something because... This dude, boy, he had him hemmed up, man. He was looking like uh, Nate Robinson when he was uh, fighting Jake Paul. Nevertheless, um, Tariq, he's already pissed. So that's another reason that he may want to get revenge on Kane once he realizes that Kane had a chance to stop that and he allowed him to get beat up. He got him set up. And right at this moment, Tariq doesn't know that Kane set him up at least from the clips that we saw he said somebody setting him up now chef Gensu knew that Kane was lying but 
he left it alone. So if Tariq starts to go down that rabbit hole of setting up Kane, will that activate the Gensu? Who knows? And also, remember, Monet said don't go after her boy and don't try to kill him or she going to kill him unless Kane comes after you again and comes after you first. Well, will she allow Tariq to try to kill him now that Kane basically set him up, had him with the lazy eye, no lie, and he was walking around leaking? Maybe... If she finds out that that's what happened, maybe she will allow Tariq to come after him. But I don't think Tariq will actually kill him by pulling the trigger. I think Tariq will find a way to get him taken out in a, by somebody else or have Kane arrested because Tariq knows that they need him. Monet she confronted him again before he was going to get his sister and held him up inside the car at gunpoint once again had that steel that she liked having that cold steel between them thick thighs I don't know what's up with that but uh, it is a good look nevertheless Tariq he was a little shook but he stayed calm and collected as always and he was able to tell her hey look you need me all these people that you think got your back and that you got control over are lying to you so i think that once he came correct with her not only did she let him out but i think he gained her trust so at the point where we left off in episode five she didn't know Tariq was in jail yet will she help Tariq? i think she might I think when she realizes that the person is helping her move majority of her product is locked up and he tells her what's going on about Ramirez because Tariq he doesn't know that she has a relationship with Ramirez and when she finds out that Cain putting the body of Ramirez on him then we'll really see if she really cares about Tariq and will help and as far as that badge, for one, they should have brought Brayden in because he's just as guilty as Tariq. They both are in that room. But, and it's all said and done, and they found that badge in there next to the PlayStation controller. Uh, I mean, the uh, Xbox controller, whatever. Um, it's no dna it's no fingerprints there's no way to link that to Tariq other than it's in his room and they don't know how it was in his room so when davis mclean gets in there he gonna have a field day with them because it is no way they can actually link that Tariq uh, to Tariq other than it's in his room which that could easily be his roommates now if they brought Braden in, of course, he would say it ain't his. He never saw it. And Tariq never saw it either. So Tariq, it's not going to take a genius for him to realize Kane did it. Kane's the only one that knows what happened between Professor Brian McKnight and R Ramirez. Now, they found that in Tariq's school and the the people that was there the principal or the dean was there so it may get Tariq kicked out and we also know that came the timing of that cost Tariq having custody of his sister so I think that's all fuel in the fire of Tariq wanting to get revenge on Kane. I know a lot of people are making videos and a lot of people are saying in the comments of my videos that Tariq is going to kill Kane. I don't think so. Now, yeah, Tariq was embarrassed. Kane has set him up and made him look bad, made him lose the custody for his little sister. And Tariq, while he was on campus, he was made to look real bad once the cops came and grabbed him while his eye was still laying on the floor he wasn't able to see what was coming 
but nevertheless all of this stuff could easily be fixed because right now he doesn't know how this happened once he starts to learn more information about what happened and how they had this illegal wiretap because did they have a warrant and a reason uh, to search Tariq with a wiretap on this phone, on this roly-poly? I mean, did they have enough uh, probable cause to get a warrant or was this something that they was just doing? Because I don't remember hearing them say they had a warrant to, to, to uh, put a wire and listen to Tariq. So maybe they had some way of making her wear a wire and whoever they hear is whoever they hear. But she was used and Lauren is the she. She had no idea what she was doing as far as setting up Tariq. And that's who they was looking at as the main suspect. And I think that once she goes and visits Tariq because she was really uh, feeling bad for him getting arrested and walking off. So once she goes and talks to Tariq, let him know that she had the roly poly and that, you know, they ended up getting a little info on tape. He'll realize that he was set up not only by her, but also by Professor Make Me Feel Good and he'll know that Kane is the one that planted the badge. He has nothing but time to figure all this out while in jail and while he's sitting there looking stupid in prison, Kane's sitting back thinking everything's sweet, looking good, not realizing Tariq is making two, three, maybe even four moves ahead right now. In the end, I think he may get Kane set up and killed by someone else um, but I do not think that he will get Cain killed by his own hands by shooting him. If anything, I think Monet may try to kill Cain. Now, it may get a little complicated because Poppy is home. And, you know, I hear Poppy. I, I want to be by. I, I see you holding down the family while I was gone. I respect that. I appreciate that. And Kane say, well, that's why it should be me right there, you know, holding it down right next to you by your side. And uh, I don't think that Lorenzo is going to have Kane as his right hand man, even though he said, I respect that you hold it down while I was gone, while I locked down. But I don't think that he going to, you know, have him in there. He said, I was locked down. No more locked door. But. I can't put you in here, man. I can't put you next to me. I don't trust you. You too wild. You too wild. And so, who knows, man? Y'all let me know. Do you think Tariq will have Kane killed by someone else and have him set up? Maybe go to jail? Because all of that snitching stuff is out the window. Kane, he already done snitched on what happened to, Diane, to Monet. And then... He set Tariq up so that that snitch code that's out the window because you already set me up and you already told what we did. So now it's fair game. You told now it's time for me to tell so I can get my ass out this jam. And I think that Tariq will say whatever he needs to say to whoever needs to be said to in order to get out of this jam. I don't think he's going to necessarily tell the police because that may not get the results that he wants. But I think he will say what needs to be said so he can get out of jail. And I think he will say what needs to be said to maybe Monet or someone else so that they can handle Kane for what he did. And uh, we'll see how it all turns out. You all put a 1C if you think that Tariq will shoot Kane and put a 2C if you think Tariq will get Kane set up by somebody else. I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll catch you on the next one.